Sometimes it's inevitable. Children need to be called to the courtroom. The judge wishes to hear them explain in their own words how they experience the situation they are in. Hello, Joanne. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Okay, I'm the judge and this is the court recorder and she will write down everything we are saying. Okay. And do you know why you are here today? Yes, because my parents are getting a divorce. Yes, that's right. And I understand that now you are living at your mother's place? Yes. How do you feel about living at your mother's place? It's alright, but I would like to see my father more often. Okay, I can understand. And that's quite the reason why you're here today. So I can hear from you what you will like. Okay. Since August 2019, the court in St. Martin introduced child-friendly court. Friday afternoons are reserved for hearing the minors ages 12 to 18. Some changes were made to make the visit of the minors to the courthouse more comfortable. Instead of the regular courtroom, an office is used for the hearing and there is a waiting room where they can sit comfortably. The room where the hearing is held has painted walls with pictures made by one of the minors and handprints from some of the young visitors. This wall is still an artwork in progress, as the court hopes that more children will leave their artwork behind. Even the judge and the clerk are dressed differently for the hearings. Instead of the black robe with the white band, they wear the regular clothes to do the hearing. In short, an environment is created to put the children at ease in a situation they did not ask for. I'm Paula and I'm the judge. I'm Ilona and I'm a court recorder. We have uh, child-friendly court sessions so that um, we could also hear what um, children has to say and for the children to be able to be relaxed um, enough to um, tell the judge what they want the judge to hear. Previously we did it in um, the courtroom whereby we were dressed in our robes but then um, you realize that children get um, kind of um, afraid and um, it's then all so serious. So that's why we turned over to Child Friendly Court. Uh, it's about children about uh, 12 years and older and um, that's ordered by law that we invite them and that's a good thing because our decisions will influence their lives and as of an age of 12 they can give their own opinion. We invite them actually in all the cases where minors are involved. So for example uh, div uh, divorce cases so we can ask them whether they want to live with their father or their mother and how often they want to visit the other parent. And also in cases where the Court of Guardianship is asking for a protective measure or an outplacement. Yeah. And we have them in adoption cases or cases that has to do with um, who will have the parental rights. So anything that has to do with a child's um, life, we invite them. Yeah, the minor gets its own invitation because it's the minor we want to speak separately from the parent. and. Um, we also sent a folder to yes. the minor mm -hmm. because you want them to um, to feel important and that um, they are taken seriously. So we send them a letter and we send them um, a folder in the letter whereby they could read what's um, going to be done at the court hearing, what they could expect, um, what they um, could do because they they are not forced to come. If they could um, decide not to come to the court session, and the folder also has in it that they, um, if they don't want to show up, they could just write a letter to the judge, let the judge know what their opinion is if they don't want to have to come to her answer any questions. The sessions are done depending on when the court case is scheduled for. So um, if it's a divorce case, we schedule the hearing with the children after the divorce case, um, the Friday after the divorce case. If it's um, all other cases, we do it the Monday before we have um, the court sessions. Yeah, the Friday before the Monday. Yeah, and sessions. always yeah. after they have uh, went to school. School, yeah. So we do it in the afternoon between the hours of three and four. Yeah, so they don't have to uh, miss school. Yeah. Now mostly the children are coming accompanied by uh, a parent or uh, a guardian 
but we want to speak to the minor alone so the parent or guardian is waiting outside and is not uh, present at the, at the, when we are speaking to him. Yeah. Yes, also for the children from Seba and Stasia and sometimes when uh, children are of island or on another island we are going to talk to them uh, by video call. The only difference is, is that in the, for Seba and Stasia we don't have a room separate for them. Um, so we don't have separate sessions as we have in St. Martin because when the judge goes to Seba and Stasia they are there just for the one day so they have to do everything uh, at the same time. We also did that on a WhatsApp call and that, that works well. Yes, we also, um, we also <laughs> use the technology because um, it's not always easy to have them here. So if you have the technology, you can use it. It's in the interest of um, all parties. My name is Merkit Consensjong and I'm working at the Stichting Judiciële Inrichtingen Bovenwinde. Well, the organization Stichting Judiciële Inrichtingen Bovenwinde, we think that it's a very good idea that they have the, the sitting of the children separately. Um, the reason why we think it's a very good idea is because um, the children are, we are noticing the difference in the children that they are more, um, it's a child-friendly court now that the children don't have to wait too long. Um, in comparison with before, the children used to have to sit outside and wait so long on the, until the judge calls them in because there is a, a role and sometimes they have to wait hours, they need to go to school and sometimes they don't get a chance to even go back to school. So they are angry actually, knowing that they have to come and sit that amount of time there. We also find that um, that the, the child-friendly court also, it's 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 better now since the children are are having having have their own room that they can sit and talk to the judge and that they finish on time and that the court hearing is actually geared towards the child um, not their parents not their family but it's actually the child is a center of of the court hearing so that is actually the part that we think is um, is good for the child actually Article 12 of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child states in short that every child that is capable of forming his or her own views has the right to express those views freely in all matters affecting the child. For this purpose, the child shall in particular be provided opportunity to be heard in any judicial and administrative proceedings affecting the child in a manner consistent with the procedural rules of the national law. The fact that the children are heard does not mean that their wishes will be the judge's decision. However, their wishes are taken into account for the court to reach the best decision. The child-friendly court honors the convention and the law and makes it easier for the child to express his or her feelings in a battle in which it has no fault. <laughs>